today I am going to make some of these really delicate tissue flowers out of guest towels. Now I have been watching Nikki Parr and Eileen McGinnis. They have a month-long challenge on using napkins. Even though these aren't napkins, they're very similar to table napkins, and you can do the same thing, and I wouldn't be surprised if they've already done this. But I really have been enjoying their napkin challenge. I don't have the opportunity to do everything they do. They have been doing some interesting things, and I will put a link to the Facebook International Crafters Group and to their channel. The one project I did participate in was collaging a napkin down on a glass surface. And I used my glue jar, and I'm really, really, really happy with how it came out. Very, very happy. It's just so fun to do my glue booking now. But let's get back to the table napkins. You do not need a whole lot to do this. I don't even know where I got these guest towels. I'm thinking I got them in Happy Mail because usually if I get them at the thrift store, they'll have a tag on them. But I can tell you this, I did not go out and pay $5 for them. But I really do like these. I like the size of these. I like it because when you open them up, they are very tall. Now you will want to remove the backing just as you would on a table napkin. And I've already started it here for the ease of this video. But what I like about the guest towels are is that there's only really one, at least on these, there's really only one paper backing. And I just got my little pokey tool in between the two sides and I found it was fairly easy to separate them. And that's all you want to do is just separate them this way. Gently, gently, gently. And we are going to work with this part. And this part you can fold up and have a nice stack of towels to use for wipe off or for stamping, for collage purposes. I've even used these to mend rips and tears on my art journal pages or to seal the gutter where the pages are starting to rip apart. I find these really handy to use. So here again I am using guest towels. I did not have a full bag of them. I think I have 13 or 14 guest towels to use. And the retail price on these was $5, but you can find them pretty easy at thrift stores and garage sales. They're just, they're not too hard to find. I'm going to set these out of the way. I really, here's one up close. I really like how delicate these are. These are so fun to make, especially after they've all dried and they're just really pretty. And these are really pretty on a dark background. I have the entire stack here that I've taken off the backing and I have folded in half. So we're only going to work with one of them. Going to leave it folded in half. Now there are many, many, many different ways to do this. I'm just going to show you the way that I've been doing it today. That doesn't mean that I always make my flowers this way, but I find these really fun and really delicate. So just Kind of smooth down that crease and then fold it again. Now you don't have to smooth the crease on each one of these. We are just folding it so that I can cut some strips. And what we're going to do is cut approximately two inch to two and a half inch. I'm just guesstimating because I don't need, it doesn't have to be a set size. If I cut it two inches so I can get one two, three, four. I can get about five out of that, but I, 
have to tell you that I saved the last strip off because I will want to save some of these little flower images that I'm going to use for the center of my flowers. You can see I cut out the little flower images and put them in the center. So for each napkin that I cut, I save out one strip. And I don't know if I'll need all those, but I have them if I want them. So I have strips for four flowers here. And I'll do that same process for each one of these table towels. Now we're going to work with just one of them. And I chose this one. You leave it folded in half, folded in half, folded in half. See what I'm doing? I'm just continually folding in half. Fold it, fold it in half this way, fold it in half this way, and fold it in half this way. You may want to get a little bit more exact when you do this. It's not really necessary. It's kind of up to you. See, I've got these edges. I like to leave these edges on the outside. So I fold it in half this way till I get about an inch or three-fourths of an inch. If you get to a half an inch, that's a little bit too narrow. So approximately an inch of space. Then to get this real pretty fluffy delicate petals here you need to be sure that you cut each side of the fold and you do that because if you don't you will have where these fold lines are you will have fatter petals spaced throughout your flower and I don't like that so I make sure that I, I'm cutting these petals that I cut this side and this side and I usually put my finger right there because I do not want to cut clear down to the base. So you leave about a half of an inch, three-fourths of an inch, but I just put my finger there as a gauge. So I'm holding it this way. I'm going to cut through these folds. I don't want those folds. So, And it doesn't matter if I don't get these cut. It just, that really, they just kind of fall into place. But I'm cutting out petal so that's all I did is I just cut on those cut those fold lines off now the next that part was snipped completely off I I shaved it completely off now we're going to cut some petals so I like to make sure that I have pretty little points on here because if you just cut this way you'll get a blunt edge so I take my scissors and kind of shape a little point on there cut it down not too far down you don't want to go way down now you have your petal and I can see I've got some blunt edges on there so I'm going to come back here and kind of if I can just kind of shake these up a little because I don't like my blunt edges just kind of trim them off just a little now we want a space between the petals so that's what I'm going to do next. I'm going to cut out, and this is, gets, you have to do this with practice. I'm going to cut out this next section. And you, you don't want to cut through your petal, but you want to trim out this next section. So you have a space between this petal and what's going to be your next petal. And believe it or not, I've been saving my scraps. I've been saving my scraps. You'll see what I do with those later. Okay, this is really delicate, but it's 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 not that delicate because you've got about an inch, maybe three-fourths of an inch, half an inch, depending on how fat your finger is. And then I do the next petal. Here again, I want a point on it, so I just kind of trim one out. I make it skinny at the top and fatter at the base. I pulled my scissors out there. I don't usually pull out my scissors. Let's see if I can get that back in.
and then you want another space in between here so this part I'm cutting out the next section I'm completely cutting it out without cutting through the next see there it is right there right there and I just throw these over into my little scrap pile here now we've got this last section which has the fold line so I like this I'm getting cutting from my right to my left you might want to cut from the left to the right however you do it but what I do is I turn it around so I'm cutting here again and I want to cut through that fold line if I don't cut through that fold line when I fold it out I have a big fat petal and I don't want big fat petals I want little skinny petals so I start down here at the base now and then I trim out my fold line So I get about three, see there's where I trimmed it out right there. You can see how fat these are if you fold them out. They're pretty fat. They're fatter than what I want. So now you unfold this. Completely unfold it. And it looks like a grass skirt. This is nothing, this is not a new technique. It's just, you know, it looks like a grass skirt. Now at this point, because I don't want to get my paper on the bottom here all messy. I'm going to get out some wax paper. Here's what we have. I put the pretty side, the right side of the table napkin facing down now this is my half point this is my center point right here and I know that because of the crease and what I do is I take some Elmer's glue you can use double-sided tape for this uh, I find double-sided tape is less messy and I do like that but it takes a lot of tape so glue works fine and I just put a little drizzle of glue along one half of the table napkin. You do not have to do it on both sides. And what I'm doing is I'm going to fold this table napkin back over on itself like that. So I have two right sides. Isn't that pretty? Now this is kind of wet in here because your, your glue is a wet glue. So you're going to get some stickiness. And I do find that using my pokey tool helps a lot. It helps a lot when making these. Because what you want to do is start gathering these into a circle. So you just take it. This is not a new technique. We're making, we're making flowers is what we're making. And it's not a new technique. But I like these because they're so delicate. You just put a dab of glue there. And you just kind of start folding this into... A circle and like I said I find my pokey tool works really well for this but you kind of you want to watch as you fold because you see if you get glue on your fingers like there you can these table napkins are so delicate you can really rip them apart if you get a lot of messy glue on your hands so you kind of need to fuss with this part I find once I get it started, I'm much happier with it, but I also find that I, I want these to be evenly spaced. On some of these flowers, what I find is, is sometimes I'll have more petal here and less petal in there. And it all works out. You kind of, you kind of work with it as you go, but just letting you know to be aware of that as you're turning this to work with it. And you can turn your base paper if you want, if that's convenient for you. Sometimes I will get my pokey tool under there and lift up on this. I just find that it's easier to handle. Put another little dab of glue in the center. Just kind of fold it in. Work with it as you go. And because you've got a double-sided 
piece here, you'll have a colored piece on both sides, which I think is really pretty for a, an embellishment flower. So we'll just kind of fold it over again. And that glue is, is pretty wet that one dab of glue will hold a couple layers. Sometimes I'll just take my little blunt edge of my pokey tool and push it down. But I've got two layers of petals here, so it it starts to get really delicate and, and pretty. So let's do another round here. A little dab of glue. And just take your tool and kind of shape your flower around. See I'm getting a nice shape of your flower. You want these petals to go in a nice round shape. And you can glue this to a base if you want. I've seen where um, some folks will put a base circle on the back. I don't do that until the end. It's just my preference. this on that other side of the you can kind of fluff these out a little just work with it as you go and just kind of shaping it around Now I do find I tend to want to hold this in my hands, but when I do that, my fingers get sticky with that glue. So just be careful if you do that because these table napkins are, any paper napkin is a, a delicate tissue and it will tear. But look at the petals on this one. Look at that. Isn't that fun? Ooh, I'm happy with this one. Maybe because I'm talking through it for you. Let's get this petal separated here. Isn't that pretty? And here's the back of it. Now let's work on the back of it. What I like to do is one of these that I've saved out, when I cut them, got a little glue on that one, I'll go in here and... I'll choose a couple of little sunflowers, and it depends on your pattern. I like this little floral pattern, and I did not choose this. This was just in my stash, but it's really working out nice for me, and I just kind of cut around these. I don't have to be too fussy with it. I'm just cutting them out, and look, I have this whole area in here. I cut this out and put it in my... Put it in my little tissue savers here. Okay, now this one's got a little, little blunt edge here because it was right at the edge of the table napkin, but that's okay. Just kind of cut it into as much of a circle as you can get, and it doesn't have to be trimmed perfect because this will just all kind of fall in into the rest of it. Now, when I put this down here, look, see, I've got a, a sunflower there, and I've put another one here, so I've got two of them together. So what I do when that happens is I kind of try to fold this over just a little so it's it doesn't look as much like a sunflower. <laughs> I just kind of play with it and 
because I, I I like double ones, but I just like a center one too. So let's just kind of put that right in there. And I use my pokey tool to kind of pounce it down. Let's sometimes I get my pedal in there though. Look, see I've got that pedal stuck in there. Let's get it out. Pull it out. And flip it over. Now you can you can leave this on or you can trim it off. Like I said, it it tends to fall in with the rest of the flower, so it really doesn't matter how how much you shape this. I just get it into a general circle shape. And put a little center glue on there and glue it down. Isn't that fun? Now this is really wet. So it's a little bit hard to handle while it's wet. But I really like the shape of this. I've got the petals coming out evenly. Look at that. Let's shake off the scrappies here. Put it on the black so you can see it. Isn't this fun? Fun embellishments for an art journal page. You could make a whole bouquet of these and put them on some stems. Have them put them on some pipe stem cleaners or even a, a magazine type road image and you know put them like that and have a whole have a whole bouquet of them. But I'm just going to use them as embellishments in my art journal. So that's how I make them. I hope that you've enjoyed this little demonstration. You make all different sizes. I think they are so pretty. And they're just made out of garage sale, flea market, happy mail, table napkins. Aren't they fun? Thank you for watching. And I will see you on the next page.